is up people YouTube, I am back for yet another review so stick around till the end and make sure to keep your masks on. I'm your host Saber Planet Gaming and this is Metro Exodus. Don't go away. So to start gameplay side of things, I want to say that I've never played a Metro game ever before, which is surprising even for me, but going into Metro Exodus, I obviously had zero expectations, but I was happily surprised by pretty much everything I saw. Starting out, I'd like to clarify that the stealth in this game is by far, I mean, I don't even remember the last time stealth was this good in a game. Uh, I mean, I think it has to do with how slow the stealth is because it is quite slow. A great example is when you patiently wait for a clean headshot, you know, you're waiting and you, you finally take the shot, you're holding your breath and you hope that no one saw or heard the guy die, then move on to the next. I really think that Metrexis has a great stealth system. Now as far as the story and the characters go in Metro Exodus, once again, I was happily surprised. Except for a couple, most of the male characters sort of blend in with each other, which is kind of bad, but overall Captain Mailer really is a great character. And as far as Anna goes, who is your wife in the game and Captain Mailer's daughter, she was by far my favorite in the game. See you later. Come on, wake up. I often find that the more and more games that I do play, I really like it when the game settles you down into the story and has a really nice prologue to get you settled into what the game wants to create for a scenario and setting. Metro Exodus does a really great job of sitting down in a train and pretty much doing like a giant panorama and story voiceover of what, you know, where you're living in Metro, what the situation is. It just really makes it that much easier to get into the whole, you know, atmosphere of what Metro Exodus really shoots for. But something I really should point out that is an unescapable truth to the game. You know, it comes across really, really chunky and clunky. You know, there's a lot of controls to learn, but you know, numerous times I found that the playable character to resemble a big boxy Roblox guy. At one part, all I did was run down the hill and I got like bounced off a rock. And I was like, oh my god, I almost died to fall damage. Uh, you know, what the hell was that? So I run again, and I get bounced off again, and I actually die to fall damage. Like, like this is no joke serious footage here. Here we are for gameplay, 85 out of 100 pros, very great stealth well done story and some standout characters cons not very smooth controls it's it's only a big demeanor for the first like hour and a bit because you do get used to it it's a bit slow on the sensitivity it's a little bit boxy you get used to it but it, it is a bit hard to slide into but that's gameplay so two categories left let's jump right into metro exodus's presentation so that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! So I usually never ever put a game's graphics into consideration when doing the presentation category because just because say Metro Exodus has a better uh, graphical you know upgrade than some than Super Mario 64, it does that mean that the presentation is automatically better by default? I don't think so. Now Metro Exodus doesn't really have a lot of music as the horror type genre of games tend to go for the quiet hold your breath moments, but. I gotta say, one of the best things a game can do to be memorable is have a great main theme, and at least in my opinion, Metro Exodus accomplishes that. 
Take a quick listen and judge for yourself. Something that I wasn't really prepared for, I guess I would say, and it's not a bad thing, you know, but I was pretty shocked to find out that the main protagonist, RTM for Metrix that you play as, is silent. He's a silent protagonist, he doesn't talk. Not many games go down this road, and you know, yes, we've seen it work in a lot of games, you know, highlighted in Bioshock 1 and 2 is a great example. It's just something that I don't see very often, and I kind of liked it. Mother of mercy, I think that was Simon Wales. The last thing that I would like to quickly point out for presentation is that I really, really love uh, the lighting in the Metro Exodus. I felt that it just maxed out the atmosphere between using the, you know, the natural light you had, the personal lighter, the flashlight, or even the night vision goggles. The lighting in Metro Exodus really is, you know, impressive. Here we are for presentation, 85 out of 100 pros, ahead of its time for graphics, great main theme, and impressive lighting. I mean, the graphics alone, it was really impressive. I don't really own a computer, so I know I can't do ultra graphics or anything. I just on a regular PS4, and I was pretty impressed, but no cons, 85 out of 100. We got one category left to go, so let's jump right into the game's overall impact. When Metro Exodus uh, arrived at my doorstep, I took it out, put the disc in, and I started playing with zero expectations. Like I said, I've never played a Metro game before. I hadn't seen any trailers, I hadn't seen any gameplay. I just knew that it was a horror type game for PlayStation 4 that was getting pretty good ratings. So I thought, mine as well. And I gotta say, I really, really like this game. I thoroughly enjoyed 95% of Metro Exodus. The small 5% is just the bits and ends of a bit of frustration with a few parts, but honestly, I really love this game. Everything about the stealth put a smile on my face. All the small details like wiping dirt off your mask so you can see better, charging your flashlight when it gets dim. The weapon customization wasn't overly simple or even worse, overly complicated. The crafting system worked really well. Even the main relationship in the game between Artyom and his wife, Anna, I mean, that was, that was really good. This is great. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom, when you climb those ruins back in Moscow, or with your radio. The only downside I'd have to admit for Metro Exodus is the fact that Initially, in the first couple hours, maybe a little more, it's really hard to settle into the controls, I guess I would say. Even at max, the sensitivity, for me at least, is quite slow, and each button on the controller has at least two or even three actions, so it's a bit learning curve-ish. I wasn't sure what Metro Exodus wanted to be or what it was shooting for, but once I settled into the deep, comfy chair of Metro Exodus and just let it surround me, I really started to feel the game's momentum and how every level was better than the last. Butchering the melody so badly. Here we are, overall impact, 94 out of 100 pros. Overall, I really liked the game and it, to me, it's the best stealth I've played in a while. I loved all the little things like charging up your flashlight, wiping the dirt off your mask so you can see better cons. It's hard to get a hang of controls, but like all games, if, you, if it has hard controls, you get used to it after a bit. But out of all the numbers I've given, they all boil down to, let's see, a solid 8.9 out of 10. So that's it. Metro Exodus completely blew my expectations away from me. I mean, it's something that in five or so years, I'll probably play this game again. You know, and maybe even sometime sooner, I'll get my hands on Metro 2033 or Metro Last Light. But 
you know, even Metro 2033, the book I would read, you know, the, it's the book that eventually spawned the game franchise. But for now, I'm your host, Saber Planet Gaming, and I hope you kept your masks on. Peace. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Do all that stuff if you want. Also, Patreon links in the description if you want to support the channel. 50% of the proceeds go directly to charities for the environment. Really good cause. Support my channel. I'll appreciate it. Anyways, hope you enjoy the video. Peace.